Welcome back. This is league number one, match number three. The starting hand is great. We have turn one sleep cursed fairy and turn two something like Thoughtseize and fairy fencing. I will change my plan a little bit around because I can play all of Storm Giants untapped in turn one. So I can play the Sleep Cursed Fairy, but turn two will likely be something else than Thoughtseize and Fairy Fencing. An interesting play would have been Thoughtseize and Eco Drain in turn two. But I really don't want my lands to enter the battlefield tapped. The Botanical Sanctum tells me we are likely playing against Lotus Combo here. And in my opinion, fairies really pay off when you play them on curve, so I'm happy to see the Picklock Prankster here. And there is the Lotus Field. And the Free the Fae finds a Sleep Cursed Fairy. I really like that because that means I'm able to play on Curve again. And now I can play Eco Drain into Thoughtseize into Sleep Cursed Fairy. I'm obviously getting rid of the Paw of the Pages and hopefully they won't be even able to play the Emergent Ultimatum. The opponent has nothing to do, so I will give it my best to raise him and Brosnborough is a 3-1 attacker, so that's perfect. They copy the Lotus Field in response. With the Mutter Vault, I will be able to play Wrinkle in the next turn. So that will stay on top. This turn I can attack for 6, that means if my opponent is not going to get rid of one of my fairies, I could untap the Sleep Cursed Fairy to get rid of her last stun counter, and then with Wrinkle I am able to attack for 13 damage and deal the 14th with Wrinkle's draw ability.
And here I'm making the wrong decision. Because I have not calculated the damage with Renke. I am killing Lear with fairy fencing. Now, untapping the Sleep Cursed Fairy and keeping the mana open for another fairy fencing during my opponent's turn, in case they have another Leo, will have to be the workaround. I am obviously boarding Mystical Dispute, because Lotus combo is one of the decks why this card is even in my sideboard. I won't need Fatal Push in this matchup, because Lear is just too expensive, even if I can trigger Revolt. And obviously I want the Unlicensed Tears. Pithy Needle is great against cards like Thespian Stage, or if I can resolve my Unlicensed Tears, I could set the pithy needle on Bosejo so they can't kill the unlicensed tears. Porting something out is a little bit more difficult here, because Brosnborough is obviously great to raise the opponent, and also all those discard and counter spells um, are really good in this matchup. This leaves the Picklock Prankster, because he is a little bit slow. I also think that I can get rid of a single fairy dream thief. On one hand, I need him for cards like Ego Drain. On the other hand, he is just an attacker for one, and that is really not fast enough. So here I'm getting rid of a single Pithing Needle. But I think next time I would just get rid of all the picklock pranksters. I'm also taking out one fairy fencing because, well, I don't know, just gut feeling, I guess. The scent is fair, I guess. It's missing early interaction in the form from attackers, like Sleep Cursed Fairy or maybe Present Barrow, but still the counter spell is good and I think I can find more interaction with the Free the Fae. Fairy Dream Thief also good to filter my draws here. And with my mana I am able to cast the Brosnborough, so that will stay on top. That's our attacker now. The Sylvan Scrying finds them a Lotus Field here. And from now on, I just hope I can counter everything they do.
Okay, I can't do anything against cycling here. Vizier of Remedies is maybe another good target for the Pithing Needle. I wasn't able to counter anything here, so I hope to find more counter spells with Free the Fae. And I find a Mystical Dispute. I have enough mana to counter the impulse with Mystical Dispute, and then I'm still able to play Spellstutter. I still don't want my opponent to filter through his deck to find the best hand, so I'm going to spell stutter that. I really don't like to have dead cards in hand, so not being able to cast Rankle, I at least want to deploy the Sleep Cursed Fairy. So casting a Brassen Borrower has to wait for another turn. happy uh, that I have still mana open to cast a mystical dispute against a uh, non-blue spell. And there's the mana for Rankle. I'm really not happy to discard my Brazen Borrower here, but after denying my opponent all those filter cards, I really want to attack his hand.
I would have loved to counter that poor over the pages, but there it is. A little bit scary. Looks like I'm lucky and they didn't find the combo. What a great draw here. The thought sees I'm able to attack his hand even more. The mystical dispute is not going to do anything here, so I take the pour over the pages. Thank you, Thoughtsies. I could now attack with both motor vaults for 4 damage, but I figure it's worth it to untap the Sleep Cursed Fairy early, so next turn I don't have to pay mana to untap her, and I can still attack for 3 in the next turn, and with both motor vaults. This card is the obvious choice here. Thespian stage copies the Lotus Field. That's okay. And the opponent concedes. So this is my first win in this league. Thank you for watching.